Hello everyone, NASCAR Stuff here with another diecast review, and it is this time of Jimmy Johnson from 2017 Wave 11. It is a race version at Bristol, which it doesn't seem too much of a race, of like too much of a race car, but I don't know. I can't really see on the other side. Let's say there's some other tire buildup on the inside, but I'll just see whenever I open it up. We got NASCAR Authentics right there, 2017 Wave 11, 48 Jimmy Johnson. 164 race version got the free race version card there's a car on the back we got all the cars right there up and find Justin Allgaier and Kevin Harvick so now it's time to go ahead and open it up so Here's the card. We got a picture of Jimmy Johnson holding the Food City 500 trophy. Raced version, Jimmy Johnson, Bristol Motor Speedway. Food, food, food City 500 winner, Bristol, Tennessee, April 24th, 2017. That was 3 hours and 4 minutes and 29 seconds. It was a Monday race due to the fact it rained. He started 11th. There's 500 laps out of 266.5 miles. There were 9 cautions for 76 laps. There were 7 different leaders. He led 81 laps and his margin of victory was 1.199 seconds. And this was his 82nd NASCAR career win. So I'll go ahead and give a quick 360 of the car. I always thought this said A.C. Smith, but it's A.O. Smith. It kind of sucks that I missed out on the Texas race version. Because they don't have any Texas uh, 164 for the Cup Series. I know they had a Chase Elliott, but they don't have no Cup Series for Texas. I really wish they could produce one one of these days. But there's only been 124 for the Cup Series. So I'll go over all the sponsors. We got 48... Lowe's, we got Hendrick Motorsports, Chevrolet SS, Moog Mel, Comp, and Brettlebrook, Sunoco, Mechanics Wear 3M, Flowmaster, NASCAR Green, Jimmy Johnson, and, and looks like Instagram and Facebook, the two Moss Energy winter stickers, Hendrick Motorsports, Exalta, I don't know what that logo is, yep. A uh, freight liner and another logo I can't see. Nothing right there. A. O. Smith, Lowe's, Valvoline, Lowe's on the deck lid, Lowe's on the hood, Lowe's on the rear, Chevy SS, Valvoline on the side is the same thing. So now I'll go over the damage. Got a little bit of dirt on the hood, not too much though. Whoops. We got some tape on the grill. Quite a bit of tape, actually. Really raced right here in this corner. The Sunoco logo is almost completely covered up in dirt. A lot of dirt on the splitter. Along the side, we got a lot more dirt. That's some dirt right there, and right there, and right there. And we have some blacked out sheet metal right here. From whenever he did his burnout, quite a bit. Too bad they can't get a. Whenever they do the molds, they can't just cut it out for the 164s. That would be cool if they did that, but they only do that for the 124s. We have some dirt on the on the uh, on the hood. You can't tell really, but there is some dirt on the 48. Got a little bit of damage right here on the quarter panel. Nothing on the back. And on the side, we have quite a bit of some damage right here. He got, it looks like he got into someone a couple of times, some people. Got some more burnout damage right here. Uh, he might have gotten into the wall too, I don't know. But this side is really torn up right here. A lot of dirt and stuff. Dirt and grime. I got another hole right here that he probably either hit the wall or hit someone else with. And there's all the dirty. So this is a really, really nice Bristol race win. 
I believe this is a, this is the first Bristol race one in NASCAR Authentics. So it's pretty cool to get one of these Bristol short track uh, race versions are always cool. And I believe this is the first short track race version diecast I think ever too. For the 164s. Martinsville they don't even have one. This is a really nice looking Bristol race win. Really nice damage on the other side. That'll be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. See you guys. Bye.